me wearing the same thing as I did in my previous video it is because I literally just finished filming that and it was my travel video travel vlog and I just wanted to add some context into the vlog because I did not say a word okay because I did not say a word in that entire vlog when I was traveling okay so I needed to come in and say something so that's the reason why so I'm filming this the morning after my first night in Vietnam so yeah I woke up early and before I got my my before I'm getting my day started I'm trying to get these uh, videos out of the way so that I don't quite end up not filming them and it's as simple as that okay <laughs> because the, knowing me with my track re track record that's the way that it will go <laughs> okay so uh, i just said let me do it i'm not sure when you guys will be seeing these videos as i as i said in my previous video because i'm super busy like that's why i woke up early to try to to film but i don't have time to edit i don't have the time to edit and so excuse me if i'll be rushing through these videos or anything like that right so i do apologize about that in advance by the way you guys hold on i woke up this morning to 8000 subscribers and today is a thursday the 23rd of november it is 8 3 a.m in um you guys can see there in vietnam y'all oh my gosh thank you so much for 8,000 subscribers i really appreciate each and every one of you like truly from the bottom of my heart i really 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 do appreciate it so much and um thank you so much for joining my team my little community here on my side of the internet and i look forward to learning and growing with you guys so let me get into the video i have a target haul and uh, I have one bag. It's not like a massive haul or anything like that. I just bought some stuff for my trip over here for my, my skincare and makeup and stuff because, you know, when you're going to somewhere new, you don't really know where to get stuff just yet. So I wanted to make sure that I have the stuff so that it'll give me time to find somewhere where I can get them. That being said, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana, but you can call me Mary B and I'm so, so happy to meet you. Y'all, I also have, um, I stopped in, uh, when I was in uh, Doha, Doha, Qatar, in the airport there for my layover, you know, the Middle East is known for their fragrances, so I had to pick up a fragrance. I got uh, uh, one on the affordable side. Well, if you want to call that affordable. I usually spend more money for perfumes and stuff, but I would consider this affordable. So I picked it up from this company right here. Al Jazeera perfumes it is a popular brand in the Middle East so and well oh this is, says Paris and in Europe I guess so um, this is how they package it for me I love the bag y'all <laughs> I'm not get ri getting rid of this gift bag like ever <laughs> ever I'm taking it back home and I'll be putting stuff in it so let me try to just um, get that off to get the sticker off and I will be back with you guys. Actually, I can probably just cut it right here. I'll be back. One moment. Un momento. So as you open the bag, this is how it looks in there. Um, my receipt is in there. Oh, it's... Oh, gee, this bag smells so good, y'all. I'm not even kidding. Anyway, so this is from the brand Montal or Montale. No, I would say Montal, Paris. And this is what that looks like. It's a navy blue box. And it's an Oud Damascus or a perfume. 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounces. So this is it right here. You can see there and let's open up well i have i tested the perfume there so i already know what it looks like as well oh but it comes really cutely in the box look at this it comes in a little bag oh this is so cool i love that 
in a little drawstring bag and it has the monogram or the logo all over it um yeah oh this is cute and the bag looks to be waterproof it's like that type of waterproof fabric so and then this is what it looks like this gorgeous gold plain bottle oh look at that let me show you the front um so this is basically i'm not quite sure how well you guys will be able to see this from on the video but it's a nice slender gold bottle oh let's spray some i like this by the way nice little I don't even need to spray it. I can already smell it. Oh my gosh. Let's wear some of that today. Let's wear some of this today. Oh, I'm gonna be smelling like a million bucks all day. All day. It's strong, it's oud and um, it's kind of, I wanna say oud and musky mixed together. Do I want to say musk? It's kind of like old musk and I want to say floral combined together. Yeah, that's what I, that's, that's the best way that I can explain it. But if I do, I'll look it up online and if I do find the notes, I will let you guys know. But yeah, I don't see any notes on the box. Oh, this is actually made in France, you guys. So it's made in France. But yeah, Ooh, it smells so good. Oh, let me put it back in the my little pouch. I needed to get an oud because oud is famous in the Middle East. And once I ever go back there, I'll be getting like oud oud. Like I want oud and vanilla kind of mix, yeah. But anyway, y'all, let's get into this Target haul. I'll have the price of everything on the screen for you guys most likely because oh by the way this for this perfume I spent 97 or oh, they have it in their local currency but it was like roughly around 97 US dollars I paid for it so I would say affordable this is my target bill I will put this the price of everything on the screen because as I said I'm trying to rush through um, this so that I can get out of here because it's already eight o'clock and I need I have to get to the office for nine anyway um, so this is uh, the, I just picked up a large CeraVe acne foaming cream cleanser benzoyl peroxide acne treatment you all know I have acne there's that's not any news or anything like that um, this is the four percent and this is how the box Looks, I used this before by the way, so you guys would have seen this on my channel before. Um, and this is what it looks like right here. So I also picked up the hydrating facial cleanser because we don't need to be stripping the skin all the time, you know what I mean? So I picked up a hydrating facial cleanser as well from CeraVe and this um, would be my first time using this one, 8 fluid ounces. Oh, I'm getting a call, one moment please. Hey guys, got a call, so I gotta go. Anyway, y'all, so um, this is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Also picked this up, eight fluid ounces. This is what that looks like. I also picked up this oil-free acne stress control triple action toner. And this is basically a salicylic acid um, toner from the brand Neutrogena. Eight fluid ounces as well. Pick this up. So it's basically just stuff for my, um, to control, to keep my acne under control, as well as deal with the dark spots on my skin, as well as, um, and a few makeup items. Also picked up this CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Y'all, I love this. Now, the one that I am used to using is the, just the regular lightweight version of it, but, I picked up the ultra lightweight this time around um, I like the lightweight but I wanted I feel like the ultra lightweight would be best for me we'll see I'll tr it's my first time trying this one if it works out it works out if it doesn't I'll go back to the lightweight one but yeah um, so this is the packaging and I'll show you guys oh I smell so good you guys 
<laughs> I smell so good. I had no idea, by the way, that this one was so tiny because I'm used to using, I have the, had it the other, the larger one. But this one is super tiny. So this is only two fluid ounces. And uh, yeah, it has three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. But realistically, though, this does last a while because all you need is one pump. I also picked up the Black Girl Sunscreen uh, Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion. This is ultra sheer, no white residue, fragrance free. It has um, it's uh, SPF 30 infused with jojoba and avocado, and it is also water resistant up to 80 minutes. So, well, it's actually I've been wanting to try this for a while, but I've been using Neutrogena sunscreen the acne control one and like I never really want to venture out of that because it really helps to control my acne it even when I don't use regular moisturizer on my skin and I just apply the sunscreen it doesn't break me out so that's why I was comfortable using that one I wanted to stay with it but I wanted to try this one for the longest while and I said let's just try it <laughs> so um this is what it looks like now um i'll, I'll kind of use it in between because i still have like a full tube of my neutrogena um acne control sunscreen so i could always like use this one in between and stuff just in case you know don't want any breakouts i also picked up an aqua 4 lip repair immediate relief for severely dry lips straight very straightforward <laughs> this is what it looks like makeup related items I repurchased this um, elf stay all night microfine setting mist up to 16 hour wear let me tell you this is this will this is my second bottle of this and this is for me almost the same as like this can compete with the um, What's the other one that I use? The Urban Decay All Nighter. This can compete with it, okay? So I use the Urban Decay when I have to perform and stuff, and I use this one every other time. It, this can stand the test of time, y'all. I'm telling you guys. And I also pick up, I always pick, I don't quite remember what is the difference between the green one, there's a pink one, there, there are different color ones, but I always get this one, the green one love that i wanted to try this elf power grip primer because everyone in, and their mamas are talking about it so um it has a hyaluronic acid in it so this is what it looks like and um i don't have time to try this now because the guys are gonna go for breakfast and i need to go with them before we start so this is the concealer that i've been using for the past year which is the maybelline um fit me concealer it is it doesn't break me out and that's most important i only buy makeup nowadays that doesn't break me out like that's all i don't care about brands or what or what they are all i care about is that they don't break me out okay that they're safe for acne prone skin so uh, i've been using this one and this is my shade the um, number 60 in coco however the target that i went to there was only one left so i picked up one in dark coffee which is the number 70 and because i also use the lighter version for like um, um highlighting i figured i can probably just like mix the two to get this shade 60 um to cover my scars yeah and last but not at all least i also picked up a sensitive um, native deodorant this one is sandalwood and shea butter scent smells so good it's aluminum free and baking powder free mm, this smells really good love that I've been using you know I've been I started using native deodorant since 2021 and I have 2021 2022 what are we in now 2023 since 2022 so I haven't gone back since and I picked up this really mini cute one and it's in the scent fresh mistletoe so in all the all the tiny ones they had all Christmas scents so I picked up the fresh mistletoe one they had like a candy cane kind of one but I don't want to be walking around with my armpits smelling like candy cane you know what I mean uh, fresh mistletoe is as close to Christmassy scent on my body that I will get so I got this it's very tiny and cute but there's a purpose behind getting it okay I needed a deodorant for my um, to have on my hand luggage while I was traveling 
and that's the, that's the whole reason but yeah that's everything that i picked up from target you guys hope you guys have enjoyed the video i gotta run but i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe click that notification bell and thank you once again for 8,000 subscribers and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Go, go, go.